G'day, um, buzzy fish people. Um, today we're looking at the females of the uh, Bosmani rainbow fish, and this is quite a big one. Now, if you just look up Google and just normal gender um, identification of rainbow fish, they often talk about the top um, fins and how they're longer on the males and shorter on the females and while this is true in the Bosman eyes, it's um, it's not really one of the factors you go for. Uh, the main uh, gender characteristic you go for is colour. And you have to wait until the fish has kind of matured. After about one year, um, you can start seeing definite colour patterns. Uh, it's still very difficult for the next, say, up to two years. And sometimes when the fish is... Uh, stressed or um, a little bit frightened or in the bad water quality they can actually have very dull colors and it's very hard to tell so this is another largish one and it's probably a pretty old fish you can tell by the wrinkly gills that's what I've noticed you can age a fish on its kind of its facial characteristics here's a bit younger it's a bit smaller um, under certain lighting, um, the females can have a, a green tinge to them, but it's only under like really good LEDs or sunlight. And a lot of the males don't have that green, and the females can actually show this green. It's not actually on this piece of footage. And um, here's a female looking quite um, contrasty in the, in the dark blue at the front, but yeah, it's really that... Um, the kick at the back, that the males have the, the bright orange. And um, I've tried to keep the camera focused on females as much as possible. And uh, males will be photobombing quite regularly. So here's that green tinge, just on the one at the back there. Just for that second. And females can have a more of a roundish middle and uh, sometimes they're more like submarine shape and less diamond shaped kind of uh, thinner in a horizontal manner you know what I'm talking about and um, yeah it's it's good to have you know like a 50-50 in a population but um, it's never that important and um it kind of just turns out that way if you just have a colony like this. It just the numbers just tend to work themselves out. Uh, maybe I have a forty-five, fifty-five going on in most tanks. To be honest, um, it's not one of those dark females that just get super, super black. And um, yeah, when the fish are the young, at the younger age, like the up to about three centimeters it's very hard to tell if a female is fully colored up tell the difference between the males they're very well fed now this is a population of maybe three to four year olds and um, you can see there's a male in the background and some of these females are quite grayish and it's this, uh, the lighting in this tank is not as I know, sunlighty, it's more kind of overcasty. You see, the, the females here all look grey. In fact, most of these males kind of look grey because this tank was a new setup, a kind of a rescape. And all the males had that same grey look going on for the first um, you know, four to six weeks. And I was, could, could have sworn it was like 80% female, but now it's kind of more. 60-40 um, to the females. Now here's another bit of that green. It's flashing. Sort of, it's kind of like an iridescent. And here's uh, just some bonus footage at the end. Just um, maybe focusing on the males for a little bit. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little focus on the females. We'll catch you in the next one.